Hi viewers, welcome to Penos Jotin. In this video, we are going to make a short review on Admel Validity 58SL. This is an eyedropper fountain pen, which is in a dark maroon uh, marble finished pattern. And in the trim set, this is a golden color one, which has a golden color clip and a ring in the cap portion. And there is a breather hole in which uh, uh, this uh, which will prevent the ink from glogging and maintains a uh, balanced atmospheric pressure in that ink so they, it won't allow to leak and uh, there is a window in which you can find the inks level and this is Valetti a uh, brand's name was engraved uh, stamped on the uh, barrel and here this is a thread type mechanism and uh, this is number 5 nib which is a uh, fine tipped uh, gold plated one for this pen, uh, with, for this pair, you can uh, check our site. We are having uh, uh, number five nibs in various brands. Like uh, uh, maybe maximum pen enthusiast will uh, swag with candid nibs, as we have a uh, fine medium broad and uh, again with a uh, gold dual tone and uh, silver plated nibs in that brand. And uh, for that, you can uh, go to our site and uh, click pen spares and then go to nibs there you can uh, use a filter and make a query on what you require and uh, here the holding area grip portion is so soft and short so this is highly recommended pen for little fingers like school children and this is very good work as pen as this can hold a, a good amount of ink in this barrel like you can fill more than 3 ml of inks and uh, uh, please apply a uh, silicone grease or Vaseline in this thread portion so it will give a long run to your uh, thread portion and again on uh, pen maintenance please wash the pen regularly with uh, water at least twice a month because uh, the dye waste ink will precipitate and uh, uh, stay in the uh, and uh, stay in the feeders passage and it will block the inks passage so on long usage you will you may uh, face this and uh, so then uh, you will get a scratchy writing and uh, it is a sign and slowly the ink will dry and you have to uh, shake your pens for the ink flow and um, you might have experienced this and the reason is the blockage in the feeder group so uh, to clean the deposits and dirts in the feeder, please remove the feeder unit and the nib separately by holding the nib and feed it together and twist and pull it out. So this is uh, so simple. So you can easily uh, remove this from the grip portion. So then you can easily wash this portion with running tap water or with so uh, or with soap water. You you have if you are soaking this in soap water allow it for at least one hour and then uh, clean it with any brush uh, as you have and uh, then it is so simple to fix it back and uh, the another important thing that that is uh, fine tuning because uh, during manual assembly of nibs the tines may stick together so uh, gently push the tines up and down so that you will get a smooth writing so that you will get a smooth writing and uh, the ink flow was, uh, will be a good, a good one and uh, please ensure both tines are parallel if not you will get a scratchy writing and make sure that and whenever we are dispatching the pens we usually do this process and Yes, before uh, dispatching this is our uh, regular uh, practice so today I'm going to give a writing sample with our penhouse emerald green ink Yep. 
the writing is so smooth as butter and if you have any query about this pen you can ask in the comment section or else you can call us in our number thanks for watching this video thank you